Hey guys, it's Tina. Hopefully you can hear me okay. It's a little bit breezy out here, but I wanted to show you our progress so far. We haven't gotten quite as far as we would have liked to because Eric's had some medical issues, so um, it's taking us a little longer than we anticipated, but we went ahead and tilled up. This is a uh, 30 by 50 garden bed, and we tilled it up, raked it out, got most of the rocks out, and We've layered it with about six to eight inches of mulch, and it's mostly barn litter from over the last year and some straw bales that uh, we got for free from a farmer who he'd had to bale them wet, so um, they weren't good for using for bedding. So we've got this whole area done here, and then I'll show you our other bed. We've got another bed here at the same size, 30 by 50, um, that we've tilled up as well. I still have to go through and rake this and get most of the large rocks out. There will still be rocks in here because in this area that's what you've got, dirt and rocks. So um, I'll get most of the big ones out and, and leave the rest. I know my father-in-law would probably have a heart attack if he saw how many rocks were left in my garden. But anyway... So we've got that to do still and mulch that as well. And then over here on the other side of the ditch, this is where the old owner had his garden way out here. And it was just too far away from the house, really. Um, but it still had rows in it and it was real bumpy ground. So he went ahead and smoothed that out and we're gonna replant this in alfalfa since the rest of this field is alfalfa. And dandelions, if you can see. Dandelions have moved in this year. You can probably see the little white heads and all the yellow. Since we've been doing a lot of chop and dropping and we did get water to it and it had been neglected for about five years, they've really sprung up, which you know, yes and no, that's good and bad, I guess. But, um, so we did get that done. And then the last project that we're gonna be able to get done before we have to return the tiller that we've rented is we're gonna do a swale around the garden. See, look at all these dandelions. That's just a sea of dandelions. Okay, but he's tilling real deep around the garden and we're going to make a swale to kind of trap and keep as much water as possible and when we if we flood or water hopefully the water will stop here but he's going to continue this all the way down that way and then we'll get some trees and bushes and garden in so today my project is to rake this and and work on picking rocks so that's what I'm going to be doing today and then hopefully we'll do mulch. I still have quite a big mulch pile over here and I have some on the other side of the barn as well so I should have enough mulch to at least get this bed done. So anyway I just thought I'd show you our progress and you guys have a great afternoon and we'll talk to you later.